Hi friends, today you will need clean hands, a work rug, and the hundreds board. I have the wooden hundreds board from school, but I sent you one that you can print out at home, or you can practice writing your own hundreds board numbers and cutting them out to make your very own. I rolled out my work rug, I have my hundreds board, and I also have all of my tickets. I know that you don't have this board at home, but you can still have your own tickets, numbers one through 100. I'm going to show you how we are going to sort and organize all of our tickets and then we'll talk about how you can put them in order. I dumped out all of my tickets in a pile and I spread them out. The next thing that I did, I chose one from each tens to get me started on my rows. So I have my units, tens, twenties, thirties, forties, fifties, sixties, seventies, eighties, and nineties. You might need a parent or someone else to help you get started and that's okay. We're going to look at the beginning number of each ticket. So I'm going to choose one. And I see that the first number is a seven, which means it's in the 70s. So I'll put it with my other tickets that begin with 70. This number is all by itself, which means it's a unit, and it goes over here. So one at a time, pick your tickets, decide where it goes, 50s. Remember to look at the first number, 20s. If you're not sure, you can use your finger to cover up the second number so that you can see where it goes. We're gonna keep sorting. My video is gonna go really fast because sometimes this can take a long time. So keep working on sorting yours. my 100 for last and I'm going to put that off to the side. Now that all of my tickets are sorted in their groups of 10, we're ready to start organizing them and putting them on the board. I have my board. I've also sent to your house a paper board that doesn't have any numbers like this one that you can use. So the first thing that I'm going to do is take my row and I'm going to move all of the tickets to the bottom. 
This way you can focus on one row at a time. So I've moved my row to the bottom and we're going to start out with one. So I'll take each ticket, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Then I'm going to move my next row to the bottom and spread that out so I can focus on just those tickets. So what comes after nine? 10. Which ticket says 10? After the 10, we go to the next row and we need 11, 12, 13, now we need 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, what comes after 19? It's going to be 20. So keep doing your rows and putting them on the board. Something that you're going to notice that the numbers also are going to make a pattern. So all of the ones are going to be in this column or this row. All of the twos, so we'll see this is two, 12, then we'll have 22, 32, and the pattern just keeps on going. So keep putting your numbers on the board and we'll check back after I've finished mine. I'm nearly finished. Help me with the last row. 89, 90, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and 100. That was our lesson for today. Remember, wash your hands, be kind, and keep counting. See you later.